Chris, back into the side on Tuesday and fantastic win. Yeah, I think um, the game on Tuesday was going to be a tough one. Obviously, Carl are a good uh, passing team. Um, obviously, we, we've combated uh, what, they, what, what, what they've done. I think first half we were excellent. Um, could have been more than more than comfortably away from them in the first half, um, and literally held on in the second half. To be fair, how did Cheltenham now get that consistency to go with that sort of result and performance? I think that's the main thing in football: uh, consistency. Uh, I think obviously performances sometimes come, but results don't. Um, but obviously, it's a result, results-based business. Um, we'd rather play bad uh, and win. Um, but obviously it's getting them to, that if you play well, um, the, the performance, uh, the results should look after themselves. What's it like in terms of the competition trying to get into the side at the moment? Because obviously you missed out at Morecambe due to illness, but you've started two league games, two wins, but <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Obviously good, good competition is healthy uh, within yourself. Um, obviously it's pushing you every day. Uh, we've obviously got really good players here. here. Uh, obviously Jay's come in. Added even more quality to, to midfield that we already had. Uh, Sheaf is coming as well, so there's a lot of players in midfield uh, to fit those positions. Uh, but obviously, it's healthy to get that competition. Uh, obviously, it pushes you every day, pushes you every game uh, to make sure you perform and, and stay in there. And obviously, this is the last game of Rowan Ince's ban as well, so that competition is going to go up another notch again. Yeah, obviously, Ince is an unbelievable player. Obviously, coming pre season, you can see what he was all about. Um, he, he's going to be a, a very a very good player for us this season, I think, but um, it's just literally individually sticking to what you do, um, doing what you you contribute to the team, uh, playing to your strengths and hopefully helping the team win, whoever plays. Apart from Luke Varney, uh, a very young side on Tuesday. How Apart much, from Luke, yeah. yeah. How much does that make it sort of <laughs> easier to pick the runners? Because presumably there's going to be plenty of energy and movement, so you know, for you to pick a pass. Yeah, but Luke can still do that as well, at, at almost 40, I think. Um, <laughs> obviously, he showed Tuesday night that um, he can still make those, those runs, take it down and, and finish like he's done uh, all of his career. Um, but obviously, having having the energy in the team, the legs, helps us with the way that we want to play. Uh, we want to get that, that high press, uh, win the ball back and then keep it as well. So, we need energy all around the team. But obviously, going forward, when we, when we win it, the transition, it helps us a lot. Thoughts on Swindon? Obviously, they've got you know a, a very good footballing style as well, so it could be a very good matchup. Yeah, it could be. They're, they're obviously a really good team. They've done well uh, so far this season, although it, it's it's still really early. But uh, another home game for us. That is at home, isn't it? another home game for us. Um, obviously, looking to keep the run going. Uh, I think if we if we started like we did uh, the Tuesday night, um, continue with, with that sort of performance. We should have a good chance. Coming up to a year that you've been at the club now, what do you think has has been the driver of the tra the transformation? Obviously, Michael Duff coming in, but you know, sort of what's what's changed in that time in terms of the work that you've all done here. I think the mentality of the club, uh, the lads that have they've come in and the, the lads that are here, uh, the gaff has set a good good philosophy and, and ethos around the place that we we come in and we work, um, we work for each other. And um, we go out every day, uh, giving 110 percent, and obviously work uh, work every game um, as if we need to win. And if you can build on the start that you're beginning to sort of have, then I mean, is is there any limit to to what the team could achieve? Do you feel? Uh, no, but obviously we take every game as it comes. So it's pointless looking towards the end of the season this early on. Um, we look at every game as it comes and, and just hopefully win as many as we can.